<coughs> Time flew by fast. My thoughts have settled and I had a firm decision. I haven't thought my plan out beyond the first steps. I simply didn't care. The most important thing is that I act the way I think is appropriate and whatever happens next, let it happen. At last, the nurse came out of the infirmary. It'd be kind of funny if she just kind of noticed him in the bushes. I don't know. But I, I would probably feel more bad for him just because he got yelled at already beforehand. You know, it's like, uh, uh, is this day going to get any worse? You know, I don't know. But we're, since we're kind of already in the route, you know, I figured it'd just keep playing anyway. But like the last time, I broke up the other two parts, so... This kind of got me curious to keep, kind of keep going, you know, sometimes it's like that where you want to stop and just kind of just make one part at a time, like I've been doing a little bit, but the last few parts have been uh, pretty interesting, so uh, it's kind of hard to put something down a little bit, so, but this will be, you know, either way, uh, I'm going to break this up into two parts regardless, and then, just, yeah, so, uh, there's, her, her thing should be coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can get a good ending out of this. And then I'll go from there who I want to be next. And then I'll yeah. She looked around and noticing no danger. Locked the infirmary with a key and quickly went towards the canteen. As she went around the corner, I got to the window in a few bounds and started to practically knock on it. Oh, boy. Lobby showed up soon. Samuel, what are you doing here? You're not allowed to. How are you feeling? I'm fine. But Olga uh, told me to stay here for another day. She told me something completely different. Okay, get up. I said with confidence. What? What are you talking about? What for? She asked her to me. Get out now, I'll explain everything later. She looked at me closer for a while, but then opened the window without any further out of I helped her to jump down to the ground. Okay, what next? Are you in any shape to kind of go anywhere? I don't know. Let's go. Or maybe it was just a cold she had. I don't know, you know. I grabbed her hand and made her way to the forest. I mean, the way that they said it, they made it seem like this girl was, like... Sick to the point where she probably could walk kind of thing. I don't know. So I'll just stop a few minutes later. Samuel, just what are we doing? What's wrong? Do you think that everything was right the way it was? No, I don't. But it would be even worse this way. Why? We have a right to act the way we think is correct. Okay, but what will happen next? I haven't thought about it yet. Every step in my plan had gone quite well until now, but I wasn't keen on thinking even one step ahead. Take a look. I opened the bag and showed the things I took from the camp leader's cabin. Huh. And? Slobby looked at me inquiringly. I don't know. We'll stay in the forest for a while. Show them that our opinion matters. But that's stupid and childish. Well, if you don't want to. She gave me a lamentable look. I'll do as you say. These words gave me the creeps. As you say. Not like that, man. Nobody ever said anything like that to me. In any case, I think this is the best decision for now. Alright. Huh. Interesting. I laid the sleeping bag on the ground and we sat on it. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you got her here to have some type of talk, dude. If you got feelings for her, get it out there, I was always say. I've never been so close to utter failure. No, I wasn't questioning my choice, but indeed, I, have no, I, I had no idea what to do next. What would you suggest? It would be nice to have something to eat. Have you brought anything with you? And that was exactly what I had forgotten. No, I haven't. I replied slowly. That's fine. We kept sitting in silence. I wonder if they will look for us. Though even if they do, they are unlikely to succeed. The forest is big enough. But food. By the evening, I'll get hungry too. Okay, stay here. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To get some food. 
Maybe we should go together. No, I'll be right back. Huh. I headed back to the camp at a rapid pace, leaving Slavia alone in the glade. Wow. All that for food. Well, I do recall there is some choice that comes up here, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's like, uh, I forget about it, though. I'm absolutely certain that she won't go anywhere and will wait for me. One of them, I do recall, leads to a bad ending, as far as I'm aware. One of them can, anyway. I don't know. And then there's another one that's supposed to be for good, so yeah. I don't know. I'm absolutely certain that she won't go anywhere and will wait for me. I wish I was as certain that I'll remember the way back as well. How do you know she won't leave? Huh. <laughs> Even if they haven't started to look uh, for both of us yet, they surely they'll have found out that Slavia is missing. So I have to move carefully and try not to get noticed. In general, every single pioneer was a threat now. Not only those who knew me, such an obvious kidnapping will surely be known to everyone in no time. <laughs> She was kind of willing to go with you, though, so you can't exactly call that a kidnapping, could you? And while getting to the canteen and few spirits was not hard at all, I had no idea what to do next. I can't just walk in there like nothing happened. Why are you hiding there? Oh, boy. How's this going to go? You'd be the type to give him away, wouldn't you? I was stuffed out of my skin. And Yana was standing behind me. <laughs> getting hungry. He's staring at me. Oh. Come on, nice and quiet. I was tongue tied for a moment and couldn't think of an answer. Yeah, she definitely would be the type you wouldn't blab anything to. You could tell she would blab something out. I don't know. <laughs> like, so, hey, you come. Boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I was just hungry, obviously, would we'll probably have something to, I have nothing to justify. So, let me, uh, make a quick save, let me see where we're at here, okay. the six, okay. I do think we're gonna go with this choice, I wanna get something for Slavia, because that's the one that they have to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay, I'll be right back. Much to my surprise, Ayana didn't ask any awful questions. In the blink of an eye, she zipped out of sight through the doors of the canteen. I was wondering whether I should trust her and wait, or I should flee before she returned with backup. However, Liliana interrupted my doubts quickly as she reappeared in a couple of minutes with a plastic bag in her hands. Here you go. The bag was full of bones and had a few packs of tepper in it. But why? Well, because it's spray and cool. She smiled shyly. I'm wondering how much she actually knows what's going on. Because this person, you know, she'd be the type that would kind of figure something out. Most people would, wouldn't assume she would get what's going on things. But I always say, pe some people, it's kind of like they, they're smarter than they let on kind of thing. You know, she's just that type. She's just the energy type of person. That's the only thing about it. Best you guys to slap you. We got to wave goodbye right away. I stood there for some time in confusion, but then went back to the forest. It was completely unlike Ilyana, but frankly speaking, I was thankful to her. In the end, I couldn't get food by myself during the day without getting myself into trouble. Upon getting back to the glade, I found Slavia sitting on the sleeping bag in the exact same pose. Interesting. Coincidence, she stayed there, right? Here. I gave it back to her. You got it so fast. She said excitedly. Well, I found help. Lobby gave me a questioning look, but I didn't go into details. We ate busily without saying a word. I sighed with satisfaction in the end. Good, really good. Yeah. Agreed, Lobby. What are we gonna do now? Maybe you have any suggestions? About what? Well, at least about how to deal with the camp leader. I don't know. And are you sure? Yeah, I am. I interrupted her. This is an act of protest, after all. She must be aware that she can't order me. I should have. Order us around? I feel like I've said something stupid. Even if it was indeed over Dimitri Nava's Arab boy, I mean I, Slavic boys. 
You're funny. She did a cute smile. We could just go and talk with her. But if you want to sit here and wait, I'm fine with it. I try to talk to you. Are you sure you did it the right way? Well, it is the right way. To be honest, I didn't know the answer. Such awkward talks were always something of an insurmountable task for me. I don't blame you on that. I'm kind of like that too sometimes. I bet if I knew how to do it in such cases, things would go another way. Of course, since I was afraid of doing it myself, there was no chance to be confident. I don't know. Bobby burst into laughter. What? Nothing. I just felt like a princess who was safe in the middle of which is possible by Prince Charming. I looked at her carefully. While all this sounded quite romantic, I thought that what Slavia had just said was absolute nonsense. But generally, Olga as an evil witch. <laughs> My goodness. It makes some sense. <laughs> yeah, the similarity is definitely there. <laughs> I said it spelling out every word. In this case, she doesn't have any powers, right? I don't know. The princess says I've given no choice to such cases usually. Slavia continued in a cryptic tone. Given no choice? That's impossible. It's me who has no choice here. Just sit and wait until I get back to my reality by some miraculous chance. And Slavia had anything in common with me. She is a role model pioneer, hardworking and beautiful. But that doesn't mean that she's perfect, though. I think that's kind of the way you picture her, though. She has hundreds, if not thousands, of options. Probably this is the moment I've been dreaming about all my life. Such an unreachable girl as Slavia and I are sitting next to me, speaking and laughing with a pretty good thing about her. But is it a good or a bad thing? And what should I do next? There were more questions than answers. Now that it's hard enough to make a decision about my own life and take responsibility for my own actions, how could I do that for both of us? But before now, I'd keep myself distant from such problems in the hope of everything resolving on its own, without my input. But I couldn't act this way now. And I never did because of the fact that I had any knows where and at what time I was. You know, I could be wrong. Slavia looked at me inquiringly. You won't achieve anything with you by just sitting here. And uh, not just that, it's stupid and childish. You were right. And what should we do then? Let's go. We got out, I took the sleeping bag and headed to the camp, holding Slavia by the hand. Hmm. Soon we came to the square where Olga Dmitrinova was standing as if she was waiting for us. Long time no say. She said angrily. <laughs> Do you have something to say to excuse yourself? What do we have here? Where is day six? Ah. Ah. I have to have to make two saves on this because I don't know which one is going to lead to what. So, uh, I don't know why they couldn't translate this freaking game the way that you would think that they can, because I can't read this. I have nothing to justify myself for. Uh, I'm probably going to have, that would probably lead to a bad ending, so let me choose this Russian. This better be right. I replied obnoxiously. Oh, really? Okay, then. Do so you think all of this is normal? Fun. You pause for a few moments and turn the Study your camera. I understand that you're not the only thing. Slavia didn't move an inch. She just lowered her eyes and held her hand even more tightly. Slavia. As you can see, she doesn't want to. What did you say to the seducer? Come on now. It's always the guy's fault. Like, why are you looking at him that way? She has nothing in this. You don't have really wonder if this girl might actually have a thing for him as well. Or is it, a, is it only one way around, right? How does that work? Seducer. Doesn't work that way. Although, he did flirt with her in the first day. So, I, I'll, I'll kind of, you know, the first day he kind of saw this girl. He kind of said a few things to her, which kind of threw me off. But I thought he was just kind of messing around in his brain, though. It's like, uh, what in the world are you thinking here? It's like, that was kind of when he first kind of got there, and he kind of met her at the time. I can't remember what exactly what he said, but he said some words along the line. But I think he was just messing around, though. But this? Come on now, man. 
Oh my god, I said nothing. I said I'm losing my cool. Why do you think we've done something wrong? We haven't done anything uh, at all. As if I haven't seen it. What? She grinned. So what have you seen? She paused to continue to say it later in the same time. I've seen enough. Wow, you're so good at drawing for children. Get in the job in the secret police. <laughs> Stop it with your rudeness. I think you're the one being a little bit rude here, man. I don't know. It's like, for once, this guy's actually right about something. You're wrong here in this case. <laughs> I didn't even think of starting it. That's so sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, your time is up, and I'm not willing to continue this point as I will. are grounded to the end of the session. Oh, really? How are you going to manage that? I locked you down in the cabin. My goodness, you're going to lock a guy in his own cabin? Boy, boy. Now I would think if, if I was probably him in this place, I probably wouldn't want to leave. It's like, oh, I have nothing to do with this place. You know, it's like, this place is hell. <laughs> what if I object? Well, uh, <laughs> surprise me. It was just now that I realized uh, I probably got it in my house. I can spot Lena, Alyssa, and Oyana in the crowd. What do you mean by it, Jack? Said the cavalry story. I meant exactly what I said. But you can't. A true pioneer. Well, that means I'm a false one. We got uh, pauses and she was pulling herself together. You think I can't force you? And how would you do that? I laughed emphatically. Ignoring the various mystical forces that I was at least concerned about right now, the camp leader indeed had absolutely no idea about enforcing anything. You know what? What? It looked like Olga already understood that she had lost, but still couldn't admit her defeat because of her pride and her position of elder, eldest and wisest in the whole camp. In this case, she's not using that brain to think wisely, is she? I... Uh, Komsomol was a youth division of the Communist Party. Young people who failed to join it generally were treated as outcasts in the society. Oh, God. That's su that would suck ass. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm good on that. <laughs> I, I'll send a report to your school. You won't be accepted to the Komsomol. You won't be able to join the party. I had no way to respond against such serious threats. My goodness. Accept it. You have no choice anyway. Slavi, who had kept silent until now, intervened in the matter. Oh god. Why do you assume you're right from the start? Why is Semyon always to blame for everything? What's so special about what has happened? What is he... What have we done wrong? Are you even sure what you are blaming us for? And if... If it was anyone other than me standing there, would you act the same way? Thank you. I feel much better after that. Slavia, you should know that. That's the point. I know everything. I know you. I know that Samian hasn't done anything wrong. I know you are prejudiced against him. Without any clear reason, by the way. Even though he is trying his best. Yes, it looks awkward at times, but I know he puts all his energy and heart into it. And you're gonna blame him just because he is the way he does? I was charmed by Slavia's monologue. Listening to it without... Really getting whether she was praising me, declaring facts, or stating her opinion, which is probably prejudiced. I guess her exact words flew over me. Just the melody of her voice was enough for me. It hypnotized and carried me away from this sick woman and sick pioneer camp while calming and healing the wounds of my soul. Okay, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Oga, calm down a bit. I don't think that I approve of your behavior. She turned away, sliced through the crowd, and headed to her cabin. My goodness. I expected a storm of applause like in American movies, but crowds started to dissolve uh, quickly as the show came to its end. I'm, I'm kind of curious how Ilyana's route's going to go, because she's so young, right? Apparently, from what I understand. like, uh, But I don't know what version of this game I have, so it's like... Apparently, the beginning of the game said that all characters are registered as 18, but there was one conversation in the first day, if I recall, where he said that she was about 14. Ah, how's that gonna go? It's like, 
Uh, I can only imagine if this woman's yelling at, you know, about him just hooking up with Slavia here, how all the routes are going to go. That's crazy. It's like, is it always going to be like that? It's like, you seduced her. I did no such thing. We were just, you just happened to just kind of lie there. That was that. <laughs> and Oyana just winked at me shyly. Well, you know, we kind of overdid it. it but in a way, it was kind of warranted, though. Because if I would have, even if that choice didn't really would have affected anything as far as Slavia here, I still would have picked whatever that Russian back there was because I have nothing to justify myself would be him just kind of keeping quiet kind of thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird how that works though, you know. No, not at all. I'd be arguing with her until late at night and you know it right and clear. I wouldn't get the right words like that, even if I had an entire week to think. Oh, come on. What? That's the simple truth. Not a trace of lies or flattery. She gazed into my eyes and burst out laughing. I just said the first thing that came to my mind, and this is how it turned out. Your first thought is the right one. Uh, that's how the saying goes. I guess it is. I just noticed now that we were still holding each other by the hand. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Because she showed up at your computer screen when every other day didn't do that, did they? In your dream, or in your head, or whatever that was, I don't know. After feeling a bit awkward, I tried to pull my hand free, but Slavia didn't let me. Yeah, that's go figure. You're lock you're stuck with her now, because I put you on the route. This gave me the chills for a second. Where would we go? I had no desire to go back to my cabin. Strictly speaking, I didn't want to stay in the camp at all. What would you say if I suggested we return to the forest? Zavia looked at me with surprise. Well, you know, it's just sometimes. Okay, let's go. I wasn't expecting such a quick response and had no idea how to finish my sentence. I was just going to tell her about a uh, feeling I get sometimes when you want to go somewhere outside of your comfort zone. At least for a while, at least for a couple of hours. I used to do this before quite often, visiting foreign districts or even neighboring cities. New places and sceneries calm my heart and help to realize that the world is not limited by my apartment walls or the daily route to university or the workplace. And thus, there are people who are doing better or worse than me. So, my typical problems are not as bad as they appear to be. I suddenly smiled. Well, nothing. I just remembered. Never mind, let's go. We headed to the forest, still holding hands. I don't even realize, I don't even think they realize why they're holding hands, but maybe he's realized that they, I don't know, are kind of an item. I don't know. That's my guess, is everybody kind of assumes it, except for Olga just doesn't accept it. That's my guess, is probably what this whole thing is on. Probably what she's even arguing about in the first place. Like, you stole, you stole the camp leader, like, or one of them anyway. It's like, who cares? Like, I got on her route, and I put all the points to her. You ain't stopping me now. It's like, I come this far after, what, so many parts now. Like, I ain't going back. It's kind of the way it goes. Eventually, we came to a glade, probably the one where we sat an hour ago. Or it could be another one, as I couldn't distinguish one from another. Hey. Slavia gave me a questioning look. Now, let's go further. Okay. Oh, boy. After another half an hour of wandering through the forest, we came to a small lake. What a nice place. You're right. Slavia smiled enigmatically. Then I suggest we stop here. Nice place. I put the sleeping bag on the ground and sat on it. Slavia did the same. And where are we going to go? Going to do? I don't know. It was your idea to go into the forest. Yeah, mine. I had to make a decision once again. Oh, boy. Well, I had absolutely no idea what we could do. We could talk, for example. But uh, about what? Oh, come on. Don't get so anxious. Slobby so laughed. I'm not. I can see you are. Well, it's just because... That's fine. As you say. I sighed and stared at the ground. Maybe you could tell me about yourself. Well, there is nothing really to talk about. It's impossible that there could be nothing of interest in a person's life after all. 
I'm curious more about yours than his, honestly. How so? I'm an example of that. You just... She hesitated. Could it be that you're not telling me something? Like what? I don't know. Like you're hiding something from me. I could say the same about you. But why would I? How would I know? You'd know better. Well, I don't. You said it like... How? Not right. She laughed. Flavi laughed again. I'm sure that anyone but her would not be so calm here. Okay, so what do you want me to talk about? Well, tell me about yourself. Anything interesting that happened in your life? Right now, I was definitely sure that there was nothing interesting in my life at all. Okay, let me think. I made a smart face. When I was a kid, like five or six years old, I guess, there was a small hut near my family's country house. A solid one made from wooden boards with tar paper roofs so I could be used as a bomb. It could be used as a bomb shelter in case of war. So one day I was sitting on top of it with somebody and suddenly fell off. Huh. And there were beds of strawberries behind it. And during those split seconds that I was falling, I thought, that's it. The Grim Reaper had come to me. And my entire life ran through my head. A life just six years long, but still. So I held onto one of the beds and obviously didn't feel anything as there were, there was plenty of soft ground there. So that's the story. What? Come on now, all that. Well, you know what? There's nothing really all that interesting. I'll just give you a story about how I fell into a bed of strawberries. Like, I guess you really did have a whole lot going on in your life. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's like, I guess some of us can be like that. It's like, you asked me. It's like, there's really not a whole lot to me. You know, it's like, what you see is what you get. You know? I don't know. It's long you laughed. But that's so silly. I didn't think so at the time. And what about now? I don't know. I guess it is. Fine. Tell me something else. Wow, she wants to know a lot of stuff, don't she? You'll call that silly, too. No, I won't. Uh, I started thinking again. Also, I once fell into a pond from a bridge and almost drowned. Man, you must have had some sucky shit happen to you, man. <laughs> it's like, your stories are old. Lobby said in an annoyed tone. Are you telling the truth on this? It's like it makes you kind of wonder. I told you there isn't uh, much to talk about, so I told you the first story that came to my mind. Ah, speaking of which, the lake. Slavio looked at the water. Notice how she asked him questions, and he doesn't even really immediately poke around to ask her about anything. It's kind of funny how that works, isn't it? Let's go swimming. I'd be asking her, it's like, you know what? You wanted to know about things, like, tell me something about yourself. I'm curious, you know, like, uh, you want to know more about me. How come you don't tell me about yourself, you know? It's like, is there something to that? <laughs> I don't even have anything to swim in. Oh, come on. She gave me a captivating smile. Well, I don't know, really. Of course. Come on! Phone! I don't care about that. My goodness. I'm probably going to get rid of that damn game. <laughs> like, I, I put parts up. The first one, the first part that I did of that game, actually, res people responded it pretty well. But since then, people haven't really, uh, the views dropped on it uh, pretty drastically. But it's like, ever since I got that game, it's like, it's not a bad game or anything. But the constant interruptions are like, uh, ads, it's like, okay, you're telling me. It's like, Please stop doing that in the middle of game, man. It's like, I don't know. It's just weird how they just do that. Oh, come on. All right, let's get back to the plot. It's like, it's weird. It's just so random, you know. So I'll be laughed and ran off to the lake, unbuttoning her shirt on the way. But that's the thing about free-to-play games is that some of them, you know, come with some ads. Sometimes they can get a little annoying sometimes, uh, you know. Ah, uh, Honkai is a free-to-play game, and they never show ads from them. It's kind of weird how that works. You gotta actually go into the game to actually play it. It's like, uh, you find out about things when you go into the game. This one here, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, 
Here, we want you to know about this. Okay, uh, when I log into the game next time, I will get to it. You know, it's like, you don't have to do that, you know. But that's because they, they want money from you, you know what I mean? It's like, their way, it's like, you know what? We'll give you this free summon, but it's like, they always give you the same stuff. You know? it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird how it works. Well, hmm. I stood up from the sleeping bag and it slowly headed her way. When I came close to the Shalabi, was already splashing in the lake with all her clothes left lying around. Oh boy, is she naked? Come here. Oh boy, where's this going? Well, I'm um, not sure if I want to. I mumbled slowly. Come on, it's fun in here. She didn't seem to feel awkward about my presence in there. Probably not, while I wanted to run, turn away at first. But here is the question, what is more appropriate here? I have no idea. Slavia thinks it's okay and I act awkwardly. Won't it offend her? She's inviting you to go in that damn water when she's naked. Ah, uh, she's inviting you, but I don't know. But that isn't the most important thing about I had to bring my swimming trunks. I guess that wasn't the most suitable excuse at the moment. So, neither did I. Slavia said with the voice uh, a level quieter. Don't be afraid. I thought there was nothing to be afraid of. So I get in. I didn't know what to say. I probably wanted to comply, but with everything happening some other way. Not in, in such a spontaneous or random manner. And really, why is Lovey so friendly to me? Really, after all this time, you're wondering why she's naked in the water and she's not freaking out with you being there. Come on, man. Use that brain of yours. Or is there something more to it than that? Yeah, there definitely is. But I really don't get it. It's up to you. She said disappointedly. I have to find him. What for? Because. When I get out, I'll need a way to draw myself. Oh, yes, fine. This guy really is just... I don't know, it's like... Have you ever been anywhere? It's like, okay, yeah, the idea, you don't want to be stuck at a camp, but you've never been outside to light a fire before? Come on, now. Who hasn't tried, at least tried that once? You know, I don't know. I quickly went back to the sleeping bag, picking up branches on my way. Collecting firewood wasn't a problem at all, but how do I light the fire? Ah, well, obviously, if you ain't got matches or a lighter, obviously, it's a little more tricky. Rub two rocks together. It kind of works, yeah. It does, but it takes a little bit, though. I had neither a matchbox nor a lighter. Like every educated person, I knew that it's possible to do it by rubbing one stick against the other, but I've never done this before. Yeah, you just gotta kind of, it's, I don't know, it's like, it takes a little bit, though. But I had no other ideas. I started to drill one stick into another slowly. I was lucky that sticks were dry enough, because otherwise I'd have no chance at all. Probably not. Actually, I was quite skeptical about my chances, but after just about a minute, some smoke cleared and a faint fire flared up, drying out, dying out a moment later. At least it was clear that it could handle this way of starting a fire. It took me another 20 minutes of suffering, but in the end, I had a small fire burning next to the sleeping bag. I was throwing more sticks into it lazily. Now, this is how it turns out. Man can adapt to anything, so I could probably even survive in a snowy forest. My survivalist thoughts were interrupted by Slavia, who suddenly appeared right above me. Wow, you're good. I lifted my gaze and quickly turned away. She was wearing a shirt, but thanks to its dampness, it wasn't hiding much. Uh, it wasn't a problem in the lake, but it's quite different when she is so close. One wouldn't get lost with you. Wow. Slavia sat with her back against mine. <laughs> I hope it would dry off quickly. Somehow I was hoping so too. So what? What? I asked with a muddled face, voice. Tell me something else. I don't know, really. I felt like something was stuck in my throat. Storytelling was definitely out of question. You've gotten so stiff suddenly. Really? Why would I? It's nothing. Uh, just... I had a feeling that I won't be able to just sit like that any longer. Animal instincts were clouded in my mind. You think... Uh, this is normal. What? Sitting like this. What's wrong with it? Seems like Slavia really didn't understand. Well, you are... Do you really not get it? Uh, I sighed help helplessly. Well, I'm not really sure. Her voice sounded cunning. What do you think? Well, I... I... 
maybe we shouldn't hold back. Her words flashed in my head. She's giving her consent. Where's this going? Something hap wonderful happened between us, something that I couldn't even dream of six days ago. Maybe here it is, the reason for me being in this camp. That was amazing. Did they just have sex? How did that work? I mean, well, they kind of off-screened it, if that's what really what just happened here. Or was it just a kiss? I don't know. Because the screen just kind of went blank, and then just went fast there. So I'm not really sure what just happened. Uh, yeah. For a while, we just lay close to each other. They did, didn't they? It's getting chilly. Hang on. I unfolded the sleeping bag, and we got inside it together. Slavia rested her head on my shoulder. Mind if I take a quick nap? I just feel so tired. Sure, go ahead. Soon her breathing became deep and steady. The wind uh, quietly rustled the leaves on the trees around us. The grass was swaying next to us, and tiny bugs buzzed annoyingly overhead. Suddenly I realized this was the best place I have ever seen in my life. Thinking that, I fell asleep. <laughs> wow. Ah. I opened my eyes and saw the top of an oak roaring above. A strong wind had risen, chilling me to the bone. The full moon was staring right at me. Night has fallen. I couldn't really tell what time it was, but it didn't matter much. Slobby was still sleeping. I tucked the sleeping bag around her cozily, got dressed, and headed to the lake. I was really thirsty, and there weren't any other options available. Besides, I don't think the water here is poisonous. We're not around shirt or mineral or anything. At least I want to believe that. I scooped up some water and eagerly dipped my face into my hands. The water tasted so good that it felt like it came from a spring, not a lake. My reflection stared at me, blurred in the water and touched by the moonlight. It seemed to be smiling. Okay. Weird. I didn't even notice. Overjoyed, I headed back, fully intended to sleep till morning. And a twig snapped nearby. I turned to see what made the noise and saw someone behind a tree. Who's there? I called out worried. There's no need to scream like that. Voice. The voice seemed familiar. Ah. I came closer and saw Lena. Okay. What are you doing here? Taking a walk. At this time? What? I can't? No, it's just strange. I leaned against the tree and pondered. She's definitely here for a reason. Besides, we barely made it here. You can't reach us like on a walk. And even at night, Slavia sleeping a dozen steps away was in a clear view. And? Uh, what? Were you going to say anything? Am I supposed to? Did she just kind of stumble up on them? Up to you. I don't get what you're saying. Okay. Been here for a while? Well, not that long. How long is that? Not long. Lena snapped. Alright. Is that all? I don't know. We stood silently a while longer. He should probably get back. Slobby will get cold. So you saw. It was hard not to see. Oh boy. If she kept up on him, I think she'd be the one that you wouldn't have to worry about blurting anything back there, unlike Liana. Yeah, that would give it, they would, she would give them away, but I, I would think with her, I don't think she would do that. She probably would keep it to herself, kind of thing. It's kind of funny, if you think that. Well, what am I supposed to think, huh? Seems as clear as day. I guess. So you're not going to say anything? What is there to say? After you show at the square today, words don't seem to be needed. There was no show. It just looks like I'm justifying myself to you. It's none of your business anyway. What? Come on, Seb, you be a little bit nice, man. You don't have to be like that about every single thing, man. The girl's not really being, she's not Olga, man. Exactly. Oh, you actually agreed with it? Come on now. It's your business. It is his, but in this case, you're are you you're not exactly Olga though. So I don't you're harmless to me, I don't know. Just be careful. Watch out. What are you talking about? 
If everything comes to you so easily, you probably will not value it much. No, you should. I don't get it. Well, let's love you. Bam. This time it's magical. And then you do it another time. And another. And then you get tired of it. Maybe. Then it falls. That's what I'm saying. You need to cherish what you have, even if you don't put much effort into getting it. If you think I'm treating this like a game, you are totally wrong. I don't think that. But it's possible. Besides, how about staying out of the things that none of your business? Come on! I'm not really liking you. You, you know, I was stood up for you back there with Olga, but here, you're, you're going about her in a dickish way here. Like, oh, I'm just giving you advice. This guy is the typical male Sunderay. Like, I don't care for a lot of those type of guys. I don't know. I don't remember asking for it. You definitely need some advice. Shut up, Sammy. I think you should pay more attention to what you're doing and planning to do. So you, you don't feel any torturing regrets later on. My goodness, look at that face. That face is not something we usually see from you. That's kind of scary. It's like... Ah, uh, she's being serious there, uh, Samuel. You might want to think there, man. I don't know. Look, this is starting to sound like a threat. Uh, it really is. Well, maybe so. I guess I'm mysterious, though. So you? No, not at all. Not now, to be precise. She added in a whisper. Lena turned and headed to the depths of the forest. I didn't stop her. When she was almost gone from sight, I noticed something in her hand blinking in the moonlight. What a strange girl. What a strange person you are. I sighed and returned to Slavia. And this, I've been playing for a while now, obviously, so you guys are kind of enjoying the ride. And things are actually now, after all this time, things are getting pretty interesting, I gotta say. Uh, and the very first t person that's trying to give him something to wake his butt up once in a while... Is, is somebody he's not even on a route with, you know. I think that's one of the reasons why so many people like Lena is because, like, the the way that she just kind of goes about things. Even if you're not on a route with her, she still tries to give advice when it comes to any other ones. It's kind of interesting how that works, though. It's like, and yeah, there are times where he doesn't take uh, the other people that serious because he thinks he's the only one in this camp. And it's like against his will. And he doesn't realize it's like, it's not really that simple, you know. It's like, make the most of whatever's going on around you. But I mean, she wasn't really, I mean, I, in some ways I can kind of understand why he was a little frustrated because back there with Olga. But in this case, it's different with Lena because she just kind of happened to stumble upon him. It was more like, you know, she just kind of happened to be there. So it's like, um, you know, I don't know. For some reason, I thought maybe the scene might turn into something else because it's like, okay, usually it's like, what are you in this scene? Like, it's kind of interesting how they just threw you in there, but this is all part of Slavia's thing here, so we have to see where it's going to go. So, all right, guys. So, uh, but other than that, I would do some other parts uh, in the next few days. And her route should be coming to an end or Slavia's pretty soon anyway. I'm hoping I made the right choice on that last part, though, because... Uh, the part about nothing to justify myself, I don't know, because I thought maybe he would defend himself kind of towards her, because she kind of did as well, so I'm hoping. But I did make two safes previously, so if something goes bad, I can always reload the other safe file, go the other way around. But if it turns out that I get the good ending, I'm going to stick with that. So, okay, guys. So until then, I will see you guys next time.